Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to my shop. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to get these stubborn pint and quart can caps open. These can be really tough to get off. They stick as a lot of the finish dries on the cap and threads and that makes it tough to get off. Now stick around to the end for some extras and some information you'll want to see and how you can preserve your stored finishes and paints for longer. Now please consider subscribing and joining our community by clicking on that little red icon down in the lower right corner and be sure to hit the bell icon so you won't miss anything new. And please hit that thumbs up icon and give me a like and share this with your family, friends and fellow crafts and woodworking enthusiasts. Now please leave your comments below and tell me your questions, thoughts and ideas. I get a lot of great ideas from you and other viewers often leave some great tips and ideas that may answer some of your questions. So thank you for your contributions. Now be sure to read the description below as it contains additional information, updates, and corrections. Check back often for the updates. So let's get to this project now. Well, I've got these different uh, finishes that I use on occasion. And I store them usually upside down like this to keep the oxygen at the bottom of the can, so to speak. Set about the top where I'm taking it from, so that keeps the skin from forming on top of where I want to get it out of. And some of these boxes are handy to store here. Then I write on the bottoms of these cans what they are, so I don't have to pull the bottles out or the cans out all the time to see what it is that I'm looking for. And uh, some of these bigger ones fit nicely into some of these beer can. Uh, boxes that uh, you get these in. This happens to be a Miller Lite 18 pack box here that works well with these. So that works great. But you know the problem I have a lot of times is I'll pull something out and some of these got these uh, twist on caps and they've got these safety things on here like for child safety like prescription models do at times. And another one here some of these, uh, they have these twist-on caps and others just have these um, pop-on caps where you can just take like a screwdriver and pop it off to pop it open and then you can use it. Probably clean up some of the mess here but then when you're done with it just push it back on and it's sealed up again. Well with these uh, twist-on caps they get, tend to get stuck a lot, and this is probably no big secret, and everybody knows it, but I didn't find much on the web about this, so I thought I'd do this video. Anyways, you try and get this off, and it's like, God, I can't twist it hard enough and get that. Uh, what I wind up doing is probably going to my vise, clamping this in there, taking a big chair, a pair of channel locks, pressing down as I turn to get these off. And I thought, it's got to be an easier way, just like with the uh, prescription bottles for safety caps. All you got to do is take a screwdriver. i got a big one here I'm using. And just get under the edge of this a little bit of the cap. Pry it up a bit. And just pop that right off really quick and easy. Now, I can get onto this. Or at least get a grip with my channel locks much more easily than uh, when you get those plastic caps on there because you got to push down and hope that these plastic uh, things are going to engage with the cap and get a grip and get it off. Usually it doesn't. So here I can, here we go, get that twisted off, got it open. So and I always try to put these back, clean them out, clean off the rim and so forth. Try and make sure there's nothing on there that's going to make it stick. But they still seem to do that. Uh, I don't know if it's from sitting upside down or what. But I don't see any leaks inside my boxes, so I can't suspect that. So that's a quick and easy way to take care of this. Getting these caps open. And also, you know, the reason I set them upside down is to keep, like I mentioned before, the oxygen from settling on the top of the finish here when I go to take it out. 
There's some other options too that you can do where you don't store these upside down if you don't trust them not to leak or something. There's also this Bloxygen that you can use and I'll put a link to this below. It's available on Amazon and this can feels like it's pretty empty. It's like nothing in it but that's what it says is the can feels empty but there's 75 uses in here. It takes about a two second spray to apply a layer into a one gallon can less for smaller cans or even pint cans you know one second or less and what this is it's a um, argon gas that's in here and argon is heavier than air or oxygen so it'll settle on top of your finish and protect the finish uh, from being dried out from the oxygen that's in the can yet there may still be some in there but the argon will sit on top of it first and prevent it from drying out. Now, another thing is, is uh, I did some welding too. So I've got some big tanks of uh, argon around. And I'm trying to think of a way how I can use some of that in some of these paint applications here. Instead of paying, I don't know, it's about 15 bucks a can for this stuff. So, I'll see how that works out. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration, please give me a like and hit that thumbs up icon. Also, please share it with your family, friends, and fellow crafts and woodworking enthusiasts. And please subscribe by clicking on that little red icon down in the lower right corner. And be sure to hit the bell icon so you won't miss anything new. But please leave your comments. I'd like to hear what you think, your suggestions, your questions, and what you may be interested in seeing. Other viewers often leave some great tips and ideas that may answer some of your questions. So thank you for your contributions. Now be sure to read the description below as it contains additional information and updates and corrections and check back often for updates and corrections on these videos. So as they say in the Red Green Show, if the ladies don't find you handsome, at least they should find you handy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.